Um, hello. Hello, hello. It's me, Miko Koro, otherwise known as Miko. And on this channel, for a long time, I've wanted to do tutorials and I've wanted to kind of teach people the way that I draw. And I thought that a good way to start it might be to do some face tutorials. So anatomy and proportion of the face. You also, I hope you guys don't mind, but I have a very anime kind of art style, so I'm going to be using my art style and my way of drawing faces to sort of teach other people, or you obviously, how I sort of do things. So as you can see, we have a blank canvas here, and I'm just going to start off with doing what I think every single art person tells you not to do, which is to draw a circle for the head. And the reason that they tell you not to do this a lot is because what a lot of people will do is they'll make a triangle underneath the circle. And as you can see, it ends up with a very pointy, very elongated sort of face that isn't very attractive to look at. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're just going to elongate the face a little bit before we draw it in. And by doing this, we get a much more pleasing sort of facial shape and we can whittle it down a little bit as we go to make it more less long or longer. In this case I'm going for a female so I'm just going to round it out a little bit and there we go. We have a very basic, very messy sort of face shape for a female character because I'm anime and I like to draw cute anime girls. So what we're going to do next is we sort of have this circle area which is now sort of our mid face shape and we're just going to draw a line there. And this is where we're going to kind of place our eyes. And of course we want to split the face in two, so top to bottom, chin to top, there is a line to sort of help us make a very symmetrical face. And normally at this point what I like to do is actually make another layer and make this one less transparent because we can now use a darker red color to go over it and sort of refine our face shape. And so normally when you're drawing a non-anime face you have pretty small eyes, sort of like this, and they're very oval. And this is perfectly fine to do if you are not anime. And I'm going to probably end up doing this now. So obviously since I'm anime I want a big pupil, but I'm going to try not to, I swear. Um, so here we go, we have one eye. And as you can see, we sort of have that on our line here that we're using to put down our eyes. And next we're gonna want our eyebrow because eyebrows go right over the eyes. So we don't want our eyebrow super high up, we don't want it super low down. We want our eyebrow sort of in this nice little midpoint, which later on will give us a chance to perhaps make more expressions if we sort of use this angle or not angle, but height. Sorry about that. And so after the eyes, we just want to do another eye. And some people might be like, well, that's not like perfectly symmetrical. And unfortunately, no face is perfectly symmetrical unless you copy a layer or you copy an eye, you flip it, and you put it right over there. And that will create a really nice symmetrical eye, but it also, and it also stops you from drawing the other eye, which most people hate doing, and I hate doing, so you'll actually see me cheat like that a lot. If I'm doing like a speed paint, if I can get away with it, I'll just, um, how to say, duplicate the eye, move, flip it horizontally, move it over. And that's good to do if you're lazy, and I'm lazy, but it doesn't make you any better of an artist, so always try and draw your other eye, if you may. If you can. Okay, this isn't very anime and it bothers me, but we're gonna roll with it because it's already here. And so after we have our eyes sort of drawn out, we're gonna of course do our nose. And so the way the nose goes is <laughs> nose goes. The nose is norm we're gonna do another line like this for the nose. I normally don't do it but we're gonna do it since we're doing a little bit more of a human proportion instead of my normal anime style. And a very easy way to do the nose is just to put down two nostrils, cause you see two nostrils, and then maybe like a line to show some definition like, oh hey, here's your nose, it's right here. And this little line at the top is the nose bridge. 
You can do it, you cannot do it. I like to do it. It's just kind of fun to do. And so after that, of course, we have the lips. And normally when you're doing lips, you have like a new layer here. You sort of have this sort of lip cavern. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but we all have one. It's that little line that leads to the rigid, the top of our lips. And you can put this down if you want to. I normally don't when I draw, but it kind of helps you have a good idea of where to place your lips for your character if you want them to have very full lips. So with this character, maybe we want her to have very full lips. And so we have that, and then this would be the top of her ridge brow, and then the bottom of her lips. And that's going to look really weird to me because I'm anime. And I keep saying that, but I'm really anime. Um, so now that we have that all sort of laid out, we can uh, skew it and distort it as we want. I always say this, but it bothers me. We do want our character to have a chin. So while I was drawing, you noticed that my face was very low down and did not have a lot of chin area. You want chin area. We all have a chin. Even if you don't like your chin, it's still there. And sometimes with beginners, uh, you see them sort of miss out on their chin because um, not a lot of people sort of address your chin shape. And so now that we have our basic face, which is going to go over a very very simple silhouette that we have now in the background and there it is there's our face so one thing that I did not put in was the ears and the ears if you take your hand and you go to the top of your ear to your eye the top of your ear is usually at this portion of your eye kind of um oh I don't know the name I'm not very good at muscle anatomy I'm an accountant but basically this area of your eye is where your chin is where your ears will be at the top of and so after that we just sort of make two really weird sausages on the way down it's always very important to put in your ears because how will you hear otherwise how will you know what I'm saying to you if you don't have your ears be tragic be absolutely terrible and so normally when you draw hair you won't see these ears because we, well, the fortunate of us, we have hair and we can use them to cover our weird yearly shapes unless you have really cute earrings in which case do not cover those up because you probably spent good money on those. And so there we go, a very simple female face. And so next we're going to do a very simple male face and we're going to use the exact same technique except this time we're going to make it longer so we're going to once again start off with a circle and I'm just going to put my opacity back up here so I can see it and so a circular shape and so what makes a man's face different from a woman's face is number one a man's face is much more square there's more definition in a man's face while a female's face is very soft and also what's different is that a man's face is generally a lot longer so as we go down here I'm just going to make a very oblong almost obular shape and I'm going to fix this one too because it's way too long that's my fault I'm sorry I disappointed you but yeah so what we have here a much longer, much more angular face. I'm going to do what I did last time and I'm going to put this line here for the eyes. And that leaves us a lot of forehead space so we might put the eyes a little higher but we'll see as we go. So now we switch to our darker color and we're going to do the eyes. And so for men's eyes, you'll usually see people make them much smaller, much less ovular. They're much more sort of, I don't know how to say, this, maybe like a triangle. And so I sort of use a triangular shape at the end because they're much like more hardened, much more tough guy. Like I've seen some nasty things in my day kind of man. I'm going to give him a little more of a stern expression with thicker eyebrows. 
And since his eye is much smaller than our female's, we can sort of give him an eyebrow that's closer to his face. Also to match his stern expression that I'm giving him. And so now we just do the other eye. It's never easy to do the other eye, but bear with me. Bear with me. And so, as we go down, go over, here we go. And we give him a pupil. And it's not perfect, but I needed to practice some eyes anyways. So, I'm just gonna go with this for now. Actually, we're not, because it's bothering me. So we're going to fix it. And so this little line that I'm putting above the eye is the eyelid. Everyone has an eyelid, even if you say you don't, you actually do. And I think when people think of eyelids, they always think of Western or more like the double eyelid. But even Asian people who are not born with that double eyelid, you have an eyelid. It's just less visible than ours, and it's beautiful, and you shouldn't think otherwise. And so, now that we have our eyes down, we're going to do the same thing. We have our nose bridge here, and we're just going to make two nostrils, which you'll notice that they're a little bit longer here, or they should be longer here. It looks a little bit longer mostly because his eyes are smaller, but this is our nose. It's very sketchy, I'm sorry. And once again we're going to do Cupid's bow. That's what it's called, Cupid's bow. I can't believe I forgot that. So we have our Cupid's bow here, and for men we don't want as much of a lip. I'm not sure why, but men don't have as lush lips as women do, and it's tragic but unfortunately, it's a reality they have to deal with. And so for our men, we're just going to make a much thinner, a little bit of longer lip that does not get as much Cupid's bow action. Except this guy apparently has some Cupid's bow action. There we go. And so now we have, once again, our chin. And so, with men too, want that chin space. And for his chin, we're going to make it a little bit more flat at the bottom because he's a dude and they generally, as I said before, they have much more boxy sort of faces which includes their chin so instead of having a nice rounded soft chin like she does, he's going to have a much more boxy chin and just fill in the rest of our face here. God he has some forehead, I'm sorry guy I didn't mean to give you that much forehead but think of all of the bangs you can grow until you're 32 and then you won't have hair anymore. Sorry I did that to you. But for the time he grows hair he can enjoy that forehead space. And so now we're just gonna go ahead and do our ears again. Our beautiful ears which line up once again with the top with his eyes right here. So the top of his ears go here, go down, top of his ear, go down, and the way your ears sort of end for me is, I guess because I have a very small face, my, the bottom of my ears all sort of end at my lips, but I also have lobed ears, which most people don't have actually, I learned that. I thought everyone had lobed ears, but most people don't. They sort of have these ears that attach inwards. So if you have a lobed ear, you can go a little bit further down, but most people don't, so you can just attach them in. And so that, just go in with our red one for our dark one. And fill in this little ear lobes here. And there we go, there's our faces. So, if there's anything you can take away from this, it's number one, I'm super anime, and I'm going to repeat this every single time I do a tutorial probably. But number two, look how much rounder her face is in comparison to his face, where we have a lot more angles, we have a lot more sharper corners, Still rounded, but much sharper. But hers are much smoother, they go around, and I don't know, like, I don't know. I just like her face. She looks cute. But for him, he's angled, he's buff, he's tough, he has bigger eyebrows that are closer to his eyes, and he has longer nose, thinner lips, and I don't know. He's a dude. What else can I say, Mr. Dude? And so just to finish these off, we're gonna give them a neck. 
and I'm not going to resist my anime tendencies here. They're going to have pretty thin necks. Once again, a man's neck is always thicker than a woman's neck. And if you want, you can get all fancy and add a little bone here for that definition. Oh, I normally don't do it with women, mostly just with men. So there is my face tutorial, my face anatomy tutorial, making two different faces for your characters for two different sexes. I'm not going to say genders because it's incorrect. So two different sexes here if you want. But of course people and their faces, they vary. So a woman might have maybe a sort of more square job because maybe she's German. Who knows? Maybe she has a flat chin. And these different things that you can use to sort of give your character a different identity rather than the normal soft smooth feminine girl. Maybe she's like a warrior lady and she has some sharper eyes and she's gonna kick my ass and I would absolutely adore that. And then maybe for a man, he has a much smoother face because maybe he's a little pudgy and we love our pudgy men. And so you give him rounder eyes because he's a much more friendly man. And you know, you just want to go up to him and you want to be his friend because he seems really nice. So different variations like that are what you can use for your characters. But for the most part, this is just our face anatomy. So where to put your eyes, where to put your nose, where to put your lips. What you do after that is absolutely your choice and it depends entirely on your character. And I really hope this was helpful to you guys. I know I'm not the best at explaining, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't mind my super raspy voice and I'll see you next time.